Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to execute a store procedure in script task in SSIS. Recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Madhvi and she asked like is it possible to call the store procedure with input and output parameters inside the script task. So I thought to make a video on this one so let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server 2019 instance and in the work database I have created a store procedure and the store procedure name is this one sp underscore do auditing. So what this store procedure is doing there are two input parameters text input parameter and the records inserted input parameter. Now what we are actually doing that we are checking if the audit log table does not exist then create the audit log table and then insert a record into the audit log table and insert the values like step name records inserted and the current date time whatever the time was and there is an id which is an identity column its value will be incremented by one for every new record inserted. So what we are doing we are just inserting a record into the audit log table and the record that we are inserting we are actually passing the values from the store procedure. So as I already told you that we have declared two input parameters here text input parameter and the number of records inserted input parameter. So there are two input parameters and the value of those input parameter will be passed while calling the store procedure. So as soon as the store procedure will be called and the value of the input parameter will be passed that value will be inserted to the audit log table. So let me try to execute this store procedure here ex ec store procedure name and the first parameter and maybe we can call it like city file got loaded okay and how many records got loaded maybe I can write 1000 okay. So if I show you the data in the audit log table so at the moment the audit log table is empty and if I execute this particular store procedure with two input parameters then a new record should be inserted to the audit log table. So now if I check the data in the audit log table so now you can see that a new record got inserted here like city file got loaded and records inserted value is 1000 and this is the time when the store procedure was called. So now I want to call this store procedure from the script task in the SSIS package. So and I will share this store procedure code with you and I will also share the code that I will use in the script task. So let me open the SSIS package and let me just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window. I can call the script task as uh, call store procedure. And yeah, I can right click and configure the store procedure. Click on edit script. This will open the script editor for me where I can write the C sharp code. Alright, so the script editor window has been opened up. And now outside of the main method, I will create a method here that will actually call the store procedure from the script task. And I have actually written the code already and I can explain you the code like what we are doing here. So in this particular code, the method name is execute sp. And this is the line like connection string. So we are actually defining the connection string here. Just passing the server name, database name to the connection string. So this is the SQL connection class that we are using here. So we need to click on show potential fixes and use system.data.sql client. So the error has gone now. And now we have declared a SQL command here. And this is the name of the store procedure. So our store procedure name is this one sp underscore do editing. So we have written the name here and then the command type is the store procedure and now we need to add the two parameters to the store procedure. So our first parameter is this one text parameter. So we have defined the parameter name here at the rate text. So if you go to the store procedure here so our first parameter is this one at the rate text and this is of worker type. So if you see here the first parameter is this one at the rate text and the data type is worker. Okay. Now if you see the second parameter the second parameter name is this one at the rate records inserted. Okay, so if you see here, this is the second parameter and it is of type integer. So here we have given the data type as varchar, but we need to give it to integer because it is of int type. Okay, so now this is fine. And for these particular parameters, we are passing the value as text and this is coming as input parameter here. And then for the records inserted, we are passing this value records inserted value which is of integer type and this is also coming as a input parameter. Now we can call this particular store procedure in the main function. So we can call it like execute sp bracket and then we can pass the value the text value. So maybe we can call it like uh, email file got loaded 
and then the value we can maybe we can pass like 50,000 yeah so this is good now we can end the line with a semicolon so our code is ready to be done and I can just click on file exit and I can click on ok and this will save the code in the script task so now if you go back to the SSMS and if you check the data in the audit log table so at the moment there is only one record inserted to the audit log table now let me go back to the SSIS package and execute the SSIS package here and it should insert one more record into the audit log table so the SSIS package ran fine and it should have called the store procedure so let me go back to the SSMS and rerun the select query that will fetch data from the audit log table so now you can see that a new record got inserted email file got loaded and 50,000 records got inserted and this is the time when the store procedure was called so you can call any store procedure you can write tons of code in the store procedure and then you can execute it from the SSIS package so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much